Well, I think, you know, for us perspective, you know, the, the building or engaging more youths will always be a priority. Um, uh, you know, in, and with regards to the assessment or the impact <coughs> assessment, it also depends on the efforts mm. being put. Okay, so more efforts we can generate among the new generations. I think there will be more outcome, you know, based on on those effort. And um, and I think that that's that's what I feel, you know, means we all rely that you know the younger generation can play an important role. They are playing, but there are scope to you know handhold them and you know give them a platform that they can really go, you know, uh, much more impact oriented interventions that we are all you know looking for. Thank you. Thank you, Vivakji. Neda, over to you. I think um, it's just to reiterate that um, data and evidence is critical and um, and and really it is something we should be encouraging. And as, as funders as well, it's something that we encourage, but maybe funders can go further in, in encouraging not just the gathering and the um, gathering evidence, but also the sharing evidence and making it um, accessible, but also you know, for for budding for budding conservationists and scientists, don't be put off. You know, conservation is so complicated. You know, and addressing unpicking which threat is having an impact on that population or that habitat at any one time is can sometimes feel overwhelming. You know, in trying to understand it, but don't don't be afraid to get your baseline evidence to continue collecting data because it might be that when you look back retrospectively then then that's when you can start to unpick it you might not be you not, might not be able to understand what's happening at the time but once you've got a good robust da data set and you've got your baseline um, evidence as well then maybe that's when you can make some really good judgments that then can be shared more widely great yeah I think a number of closing thoughts but yeah I would just say that um, I think a few important points were raised about co-creating and um, working together in synergies within other, with other groups um, and sort of understanding how to meaningfully engage youth in, in the sector, uh, how to compensate youth as well uh, within the sector, because there, at the end of the day, there is a value addition and any value that has that is added uh, has to be acknowledged, compensated and uh, fair use of, of ownership also need to be given. So I think moving forward, um, definitely uh, we're here to support youth. Uh, we have over 300 uh, global youth uh, on our network uh, and we're trying to empower and educate them in every way possible beyond conservation as well. Super.